What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about the Google Chromecast. And the Chromecast, if you didn't know, is a device that you plug into your TV and it allows you to push video and audio to your TV from your, either your phone, your tablet, it can be Android, it can be iPhone, it can be your computer, all kinds of devices and allows you to kind of get away without having to, you know, maybe purchase a set top box, something like an Apple TV or uh, an Android TV. It would just allow you to, you know, push everything from your phone. Well, it looks like they're going to push out an updated version of this device, most likely when they launch the Pixel 3 in October. So what you'll get is a slightly adjusted device with Bluetooth that can do everything with Bluetooth. I guess the Bluetooth that's in the current Chromecast uh, allows you to do certain things, but not use it all the time. It kind of shuts down after you use it during setup. So this one would allow you to do Bluetooth all the time. And then also they're going to slightly adjust, I guess, the wiring for the uh, Wi-Fi in there so it gets better, stronger, faster Wi-Fi. So not a huge difference, but a difference in that it'd be slightly improved versus what we have currently. The other Google story is that Google is going to be launching a smart display of their own, kind of like what you get with uh, Amazon's smart display, which is really ugly, but regardless, it's a smart speaker and a display in once. Google's gonna be coming out with theirs later this year. It didn't say exactly if it's gonna end up coming out when they announce the Pixel 3 or maybe the end of this year. I would kind of su suspect that they'll announce it um, at the Pixel 3 event, but then it won't really come out until probably like November or December of 2018. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy S10. I was given a photo of some official cases for the Galaxy S10. One of my viewers has a friend that lives in South Korea and I guess works for Samsung over there. And uh, he sent him this photo and then he sent me the photo and it shows off the Galaxy S10 in all of its glory, at least on the front of it anyway. And just looking at the photo, because the phone's in landscape, you'll see at the very top, there's no notch, there's no bezel really. Same thing at the bottom, no bezel for the most part uh, and on the sides left and right. But at the top, you do have the dots, the cutouts uh, for the cameras and the sensors on there and then you can also see the fingerprint sensor underneath the display and overall it's going to be a very interesting looking phone if this phone comes out it's going to be a phone that's going to be completely different for the most part from what we have now that had does have bezels at the top and the bottom this is a very sexy looking s10 so there you guys go that is your news for the day thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe new videos every single day and my question now to you guys is is that s10 enough for you to hold off on the Note 9 or the S9 and wait for that S10. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.